Today, we're breeding the rarest tarantula in the world. Actually, it's one of the rarest. The Typoclania celadonia, the Brazilian jewel tarantula, is pretty rare in the hobby. And today, we have a mature female that is actually my friend Antoine's and then I share a couple other females with a buddy of mine Armand and we have a mature male a mature males out and about just waiting for some of that sweet epigastric furrow that he is gonna be pounding later on so stay tuned my name is Aram this is my facility we are urban tarantulas let's get to it the type of conia celadonia is a tarantula that is often misunderstood in the hobby where people go wrong is they give them too much humidity and there you go that's the secret. Other than that, this tarantula is actually not that difficult to care for. You just got to give them a piece of cork bark, kind of have it suspended into the enclosure, give them plenty of ventilation, and they're going to make a little hide inside the cork bark. They are one of the very few tarantulas that we call an arboreal trapdoor tarantula. And I'm going to show you guys the heights. So the first tarantula, the biggest female that we have, is this one. This is Anton's female. Can you guys spot the hide? Can you see the amazing architecture inside this enclosure? The tarantula hide is somewhere <laughs> on this cork bark. Look at the camouflage. Look at the camouflage. We're gonna lift this flap and we're gonna check out the tarantula. And there she is. All right, so that was the hide for this big female. I'm gonna put her back. And here we have the mature male. Mature male has a hide inside here, but this guy is just out and about 24 hours a day just looking for a female to smash. And here he is. So a mature male tarantula is always going to be looking for a female. He has absolutely no purpose to be inside his hide anymore. For the rest of his life, he's going to be looking and searching for females to smash. Here we go. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up very well. That is the sperm web that the mature male made to load into his pedipalp so he could insert it into the female's sweet epigastric furrow. So the last time we bred this female, I let the male go inside. Today, because we want to get some uh, good footage, I'm going to take this cork bark out. We're going to place this cork bark right over here. And I'm gonna let the male climb out. Wow, this is going better than I expected. Like he's already ahead of us. Woo, he's a little jumpy one, isn't he? Okay, so we're gonna coax him onto the cork bark and hopefully he's gonna figure out where the female is. Hopefully he remembers from the last smash. A few moments later. So here it is, the mature male and all his glory. I see a little bit of drumming on top of the female's built house. And he's like, yo, let me smash. I'm here. I'm loaded with some fresh sperm. Come and get some. Let's see if she's going to come out. I think she will. I think it's going to happen. There it is. She's coming out. I couldn't ask for a better shot. This nice is amazing. Shot. Look at the size difference. Look at the size difference between these two. This is a fully grown mature female. And oh my God, how, this is so easy. I am amazed at how smoothly that this is going. Hooray! Oh, yeah. oh my God, like how amazing is this? Look at the coloration of this species. The Brazilian species are just on another level. He's literally holding her up with his front two legs and inserting into her epigastric furrow the fresh sperm that he just picked up with his pedipalps not too long ago. And there you have it. This is a breeding of the type of Clinia celadonia, the Brazilian jewel tarantula. I think we're gonna have some babies soon. What do you guys think? Comment below. So I want all my females with a partner of mine and he's really good at raising these species. They require a little bit more attention, a little bit more care. You might wanna check on them maybe a couple of times a week. Compared to a lot of other animals, it's super easy because it's a tarantula, but for a tarantula keeper, it's just a little bit more work compared to an OBT tarantula or a GBB tarantula. Nice. Oh man, my little man is just doing it. We couldn't have asked for a better experience. I think he's gonna deplete his entire sperm into her. We're not even gonna be able to breed the other females. I think we're gonna leave the other females for a different day. So this male will probably lay another sperm web in about a week, maybe two weeks. But I think after this female, he's gonna be done for the day. Aww. So this female is about three years old from what I've been told from Antoine. And that male, I wanna say is maybe a year and a half. There we go. I think he is finished. He's done. We're going to put him back into his enclosure. We're going to feed him and we're going to thank him. Little buddy, you've done so well. You've done so good. I couldn't have asked for a better male. You've already impregnated three females. You've put it in her twice. Ah, no! 
All right, we're gonna give you a nice meal and we're gonna leave you alone. Thank you. So we're gonna get a few more shots of her. Wow, she's going back into her enclosure all on her own. This is, <laughs> I love the species now. She came out, she did the dirty and she just went back inside, went back into her hide and she wants to be left alone now. Let's give her a little cockroach and see if she's gonna eat. Here we have a red runner and I don't know if she's gonna come out on her own. Hopefully she will. 2,000 years later. Uh, let's give her a little help. Oh, she's actually holding it shut. <laughs> she's holding the hide shut. Oh, now she let go. Come on, pretty mama. I know you're hungry. There's no other tarantula that I've seen that has this type of a shape. This, this giant oval looks like a freaking cyst on her. <laughs> Never seen this on another tarantula. Maybe the tarantulas within this genus. There's a couple of other species under this genus. There's the Acosta, there's the Kurimum, and there's one more, I believe. I know I said that we're gonna leave him alone. He was gonna be done for today, but that was too easy. I feel like we could give it another shot with another female. I feel like he's got it in him, you know? It was just way too easy. Now, we're gonna try and see if he's gonna smash another female. The female that recently molted about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. I don't remember. I don't keep track of the, the molt dates but she should be good to go. She should be ready. Now, if he could find her hide and start drumming on top of the hide, coax her out, that would be wonderful. He did it with the last female, but I don't know. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm gonna guide him. I'm gonna show him where it is just a little bit. It's right here, right here, right here, right here. Woo, woo, woo. Look how small his abdomen is compared to the female. It's worlds different. The mature male and the female, the sexual dimorphism. Okay, maybe he is done. I don't know. I'm trying my best to guide you into the badge, but you keep missing it, little buddy. Why? Right here, right here, right here. D drum. One eternity later. So we've been trying for about 15 minutes to get these two to pair. It did not work. The male, I think he did deplete his sperm. We're gonna wait until the male makes another sperm web and introduce these two. And then we're gonna get some food in her too. She looks a little on the skinnier side. If you guys recall, the other female was super bootylicious. She was huge. She was massive. It was the biggest Celadonia I've ever seen in my entire life. Antoine did a really good job raising her. And this female, maybe she's got some time to go until she is sexually mature. So we're gonna conclude our video. This was a fun one. I really enjoyed uh, filming this one as opposed to any of the other ones. They all sucked. <laughs> so that concludes the video for today. This was the breeding of the Typoclinia celadonia. He did good. He did a really, really good job. He smashed one female twice. It's okay that he didn't smash this one. It's okay. It's all right, little buddy. You'll get your chance again in a week or two. Like, subscribe, and comment below. Urban Tarantulas out. Like, subscribe, hit the smash icon. <laughs> so if you guys learned something from this video, so if you guys learned something, so if you learned something, <laughs> like, hit the bell icon, smash the, what do you smash? <laughs>